So what did we do to start the process? A root cause analysis was performed using fish bone, process mapping, and run chart methods in order to fully comprehend the workflow from triage and admission of the mother through the labor and delivery process to the resuscitation and immediate post-delivery care of the neonate. This was completed separately for both vaginal and cesarean section deliveries. Members of the working group then conducted a literature search, reviewing previous studied methods of maintaining normal thermia in the freshly born neonate, both in isolation and in care bundles. The working group then developed a list of proposed changes that span from admission of the mother to transfer of the neonate to the mother baby unit or NICU. This list included some changes specifically to vaginal deliveries and some for cesarean deliveries. A series of plan do act or PDSA cycles were conducted with the introduction of two to four of the proposed changes per cycle. Anonymized data collection sheets were received from the obstetrical or neonatal staff attending the delivery, inviting comments on the feasibility of each of the proposed changes and comments and suggestions from the frontline staff. 